Welcome guys to another video and today we're gonna look at some common Italian Christmas traditions and some curiosities related to this time of the year. As it happens in the US we celebrate the Christmas day on the 25th of December and this day celebrates Jesus Christ's birth. In Italy Christmas is an holiday which is still very tied to religion. It's a time that we tend to spend with the people we care the most. Christmas is definitely a major holiday in Italy, which means that Italians celebrate lots of great unique Christmas traditions. Across Italy, Natale, Natale, which is the Italian translation for Christmas, tends to be a family-centric holiday. A time to stay at home and eat with loved ones. But customs also vary from city to city. And you're gonna see different types of dishes in different regions in Italy with slightly different traditions depending on where you go. Let's start with the number one, which is Christmas holidays. Italy's holiday season usually starts around the 8th December, which is the feast day of the Immaculate Conception, and runs through the Epiphany, which is the 6th of January. The national holidays in this period are the, the 8th December, the 25th, 26th, January 1st and January 6th. So let's say that Christmas generally kicks off on the day of the Immaculate Concep Conception, which is the 8th of December, as we said, and basically this is the day where people start to, to put the decorations up, both on the streets and inside the Italian homes, and when some Christmas market starts. Decorations and the big, huge Christmas trees start to be found in the main Italian piazzas, like in front of the Colosseum or in the famous Piazza Duomo in Milan. 2. Christmas with family. We spend Christmas Day with the family and food. Many people don't eat uh, meat on Christmas Eve because it's tied to religious reasons. And then they spend the night with the family playing uh, Tombola, which is a very common game around uh, Christmas time in uh, Italy. Eating food, drinking wine, watching movies and mainly staying together. After dinner, many Italians go to their local church to celebrate at midnight Christmas. And some uh, Romans uh, go directly to the Vatican City to celebrate directly with the Pope. On Christmas Day as well we have a big lunch with the family that usually ends up in the evening or late evening if it ever ends up. It's actually hard to generalize the most typical dishes that you can find during Christmas Eve and uh, Christmas Day because Italy is so varied that uh, if you, depending on where you go it can be in Lazio or uh, in the region of Naples which is Campania or Abruzzo or Tuscany or uh, Lombardia, depending on, or Sicily, depending on where you go, Calabria, you will find different dishes, different types of uh, sweets uh, that are traditional to that region or city that you are in, right? So I don't want to generalize, but there are three things talking about sweets that uh, are found, that, that can be found all over the period of uh, Christmas time all over Italy and we are talking about the panettone, panettone, then the pandoro, pandoro and then the torrone, torrone. They are really popular desserts during this period of the year. Panettone is a cake that hails from Milan. It contains candied orange and uh, lemon zest as well as raisins which are added dry and not soaked. But many other variations are available, such as with uh, different types of cream or with chocolate. Then we have Pandoro, which is uh, an Italian cake, let's say, that is uh, originally from Verona, the city of Romeo and Juliet. And uh, true to its name, Pandoro actually means Pan d'oro, golden bread. 
That's why the cake has a bright yellow color. Pandoro is uh, traditionally a star-shaped cake that is then eaten after pouring some powdered sugar on it. 3. Santa Claus Santa Claus in Italy is called Babbo Natale, which actually means literally Babbo Natale, Father Christmas. He's the one that brings gifts to the children, but not in uh, every region we have Babbo Natale. We have other people also bringing gifts to the kids, like uh, it can be La Befana, La Befana, San Nicola, Santa Lucia e Gesù Bambino, Baby Jesus. People usually receive the Christmas gifts on the Christmas day, thinking exactly that uh, this was a gift from uh, Babbo Natale, Father Christmas, Santa Claus, but then as I said some other people, some other kids open their gifts on December 13, for example in my city which is Brescia, we receive the gifts on December 13 and Santa Lucia, Saint Lucia brought it to us. I'm very thankful to her and uh, I'm sure all the kids from Brescia are. And in other places there is Saint Nicholas, San Nicola that brings the gifts in the night between 5th of December and the 6th of December. Then of course we cannot forget about the Epiphany which is La Befana on the 6th of January and uh, many people put some socks in front of their uh, crippling fire waiting for the Befana to come during the night to leave some gifts to the kids. If you didn't behave well during the year of course the Befana is not gonna give you a gift but it's gonna leave some carbon for you. 4. Presepe Traditionally the main focus of the Christmas decorations in Italy is the presepe, of course together with the Christmas tree. But the presepe is basically a, nati a nativity scene. It's said to have originated with Saint Francis and the craft of carving nativity figures started in the 13th century. And if you want to go to the source, you can go to Naples because they have one of the most famous via streets in the world related to the craft of creating nativity scene characters. And of course, many Italian towns and cities have their nativity scene in their piazzas so that visitors that come can admire the beauty of their creation. 5. Christmas Market So if you're gonna go to Italy by the end of November and uh, the middle of December what's gonna happen is that you're gonna see a lot of thing, things going on. One of these things is the Christmas Market. Many Italian cities like uh, Verona, Florence, uh, and Trento, and Bolzano or Turin uh, or Many other cities have a lot going on during the Christmas time, also Naples, Rome, and some of the best Christmas markets are actually found in the north, such as in the Trentino Alto Adige region, where there's German heritage. The Alto Adige city of Bolzano actually hosts the most important Christmas market that you can find in Italy. Also in Rome, in Piazza Navona, you can find a huge fair with Babbo Natale and in these Christmas markets basically you will be able to find anywhere from souvenirs related to Christmas, food, beverages, typical food of different regions or even clothes and a lot of different things for any of your interests. I hope you enjoyed this video, I wanna remember that you can uh, leave a like or a comment to let me know the topics that you would like me to explain more, also to tell me if you enjoyed this video and also you can subscribe to the channel to receive uh, every Sunday a new video related to Italy, the culture, the food, the history, the language and the main goal of this channel of course is to help you learn Italian through the natural method. Okay, so you can browse also through the other videos that you can find for free on the channel, download the gift that you find in the description and uh, for now I send you a big hug from Italy and I'll see you in the next video. But of course I cannot go away before wishing you a great, a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas to you and your family, wish you all the best for this end of the year 
and uh, let's do our best to learn Italian together in 2020.